there's some great ideas out there. And there's also mm -hmm. a few that worry me a little bit in terms of meeting that conceptual brief. Anna. Oh, it smells good already. Mm-hmm. How are you going, Anna? Yeah, good, honey. Just a lot, a lot to do. Do you think I'm crazy? I'm crazy. Nah, you'll get it done. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love watching movies. I'm doing breakfast at Tiffany's, and I'm just going to do a beautiful afternoon tea because breakfast at Tiffany's is all about being elegant, beautiful, and amazing. I can't really remember if I've watched breakfast at Tiffany's. I think I have. But look, in the movie title, this breakfast, I'm sure she would have had afternoon tea. Like, she would have. Hello, Anna. Hello, how are we, Mel? Inquiring minds wish to know, what are you making? Which movie did you pick? Breakfast at Tiffany's? Yeah. Afternoon tea, because for me, it's all about elegance and beauty. And it's based in New York as well, so I'm going to do a cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to do a brownie. There's a cheesecake, there's a brownie. There's what else is going on? There's a as well, there's scones, there's jam, there's everything. So I'm like, oh, my god. Love uh, it. Yes. All right. Look, I think a lot of this will come down to presentation and, and execution. So oh, of course. the way that yeah. this looks um, is definitely going to sell whether or not it sort of hits the brief. If you are going to sort of go that general concept in terms of to you, breakfast at Tiffany's means elegance, it means New York, then I need to be able to see and taste elegance and New York in your dish. You'll be able to see it, Mel. I okay. promise. I love this. Fantastic. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you both. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. Look, let's be honest. I don't think I've watched Breakfast at Tiffany's. So, have I met the brief? Who knows? Am I going to make sure it's spot on? Absolutely yes. Yeah, I don't think the judges are sort of my idea, but you know what? That's what it means to me, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> All right. Let, let's focus. Okay. They are incredible talents. I don't think they ever served us something that was not good. Mm -mm. And I think some of them really understood and took the essence of this challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Adriano. I love his direction. Yeah. I think Greece, this era, iconic milkshake, mm -hmm. it's visual, it's gonna be a trompe l'oeil, and it's yeah. gonna work within flavors. I think this, this it's perfect for him. Yeah. There's some great ideas out there. And there's also mm. a few that worry me a little bit in terms of meeting that conceptual brief Anna because she's picked breakfast at Tiffany's and she's giving us an afternoon tea that's very elegant and very New York but are we going to be able to see that in the finished dish I'm not completely sold yet I want you to enjoy the show <laughs> there's a lot of citrus citrus and strawberry except Anna's doing something different breakfast at Tiffany's, high tea. It's a risky take, but she's very good. I'm sure she'll pull it together. It is doable within yeah, yeah. the time. There, there, yeah. there is a way. I know it's you have to think quick, but there is a way. Anna, you're all good? As good as I can be. Looks good. You happy? I've just, I've just done too much. Come on, Anna, you've got this. You, you're right. You've got it. I'm feeling a bit deflated. I've took too much on. The passion fruit pasta is coming together nicely. The gel, the tapioca, the fruit looks great. And now it's time to move on. Cut my cheesecake. How is it, Anna? Good. The scones are coming out of the oven. They haven't risen. They haven't taken much colour. I forgot them the baking powder. My God. Baking powder is a rising agent. It makes it fluffy and it gives it colour. This is supposed to be breakfast at Tiffany's. Currently, I'm watching the movie of the Titanic and I'm going down in the ship. I just got to keep on going. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm planning my afternoon tea. I've got my pasta, my brownie and my cheesecake. I'm looking at the scones, I'm like, maybe I can cut them in half, put the cream in the jam, whatever. Then they're so flat. I can't do it. I'm just Devo. 30 seconds! Oh. You right? Yeah, this is by far one of the hardest cooks.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's over. Step off the bench. God. Oh. Well, conceptual challenges are always super difficult and you can tell in an elimination like this that everybody was just firing on all cylinders to fight for their place in the competition. Yeah, I mean, seeing Reynolds wanting to place Ping halfway through the cook kind of give you a little bit the vibe in the room. Absolutely. Yes, this one will be a tough one. Hello, Anna. Hello, how are we? Hey, Anna. Hello. Oh, that is lovely. Very cool. Breakfast at Tiffany, and this is my high tea. Baked cheesecake, chocolate brownie, and the passion fruit posset. Thank you so That's much. Right. Thank you so much. Thank Enjoy. You, Thank you. Okay. I'm going to put it out there and say it's a long bow to draw. Yeah. I want to finish this. Like, I'm, I'm forcing myself not to... I'm finishing this. I don't care. I think, I think for this one, it's maybe where you and I will have a little fight. Mm. I understand that she might be on the lower end of meeting the brief, but if you do shoehorn something, you have to present something quite perfect, and I think that's kind of what she did. I love this. The brownie is very American. It's a very fudgy brownie. Yeah. And the, the flavour of the actual cheesecake itself is delicious. If she goes through, what will save her is A, the execution, B, the presentation, but also here we have a New York style cheesecake and an American brownie, and I can buy that. Let me think about it. <laughs>